Got a good, decent sized piece. Kind of looks chunky. Get off of me! Okay, I didn't even think I was gonna be making a video today because I went to like three or four different spots. Didn't even find a little speck of gold. Been hours and hours. Oh gosh, I freaking felt the bee on me! I don't know if a stinger went in me, but I'm just a magnet for bugs today. And I finally found a little bit of fly poop because I'm crevicing. I got this little sucker, which is making things nice and easy. It's also just fun to use. So see if I can get some more gold before I get out of here. Really pretty water is pretty clear. That gave me the adrenaline for the power to do that. He followed me. Okay, so my last video, I tried to do gold panning at Quartzville Creek. I was like, I'm not gonna film until I get a piece of gold. Found a piece of gold, went back, tried to film, never found any gold again. So now I'm at the Lewis River in Southwest Washington, and I did the same thing, just found a piece of gold. So let's hope I find some more gold doing some crevicing and I'm using my suction tool and it's kind of fun to play with. So we'll see how much gold we get here. Probably just gonna be flower gold because the Cascades are not very rich in gold. Hike to a remote spot, gonna have to climb down this. Looks pretty good. First piece of gold, cell phone kinda sucks. You guys hear that? You hear the hawk? Or eagle? In the wild west now. this crazy flashy thing I don't know what it is but it's it's on the heavy side dude what if I stepped on this what is it so I didn't find any more gold at the first spot where I found gold so I changed locations there's a lot more swimmers way more gravel so I'm still trying to find some bedrock with this bad boy do one more pin and then we'll see what happens because if there's no gold, I'm just going home.
just looks like a leaf. Here's my giant six foot one hand. Gosh dang. Bruh, these are like prehistoric mega leaves. And these trees, they just keep going. Well, I only found one piece of gold. It's a really pretty area, but definitely not where I wanna spend most of my time. I'd rather just be on the Malala, but this is worth checking it out. It's called prospecting for a reason. Parachute people, everyone just jumped out. Looks like they're trying to go looking for gold too. All right, so I'm at the Malala River. Third time that I'm trying to pan for gold and actually find some gold. Quartzville, one piece. At the Lewis River, one piece. Here, already found a few pieces and a decent medium sized piece, so it's reliable. And I'm using this little thing. So I'm gonna show you guys how you do it. Cause obviously I do really good with underwater crevicing. So essentially you find like a little crevice, like this little pocket here. And then you suck it up really hard to do one handed, but so I'm gonna pull this lever. Hold up, and then it just cleans off the bedrock and uh, sucks up all the rocks. So it's like wet crevicing, and I think it's pretty good so far. This is what's good about the drought, I guess. Gotta look for the positive things. All of this exposed bedrock. One good sized piece here, and then got a got a few right there. I need to get like a close up camera. Ooh, I don't know if you guys saw that. Yeah, there's a little flash right there. 
There's about like four or three pieces that are visible here. We got this good piece, and then I gotta clean up the little micros. Empty pan, gonna go to another spot. Got a good, decent sized piece, kinda looks chunky. It's a new spot that I've been working. Bedrock sucker thingy inside that thing. Got another good pan, medium sized flake, and then two, three, four over here. Probably gonna go to a new spot because I'm getting bored of this one. So I moved these boulders out of the way because it's like a nice little sluice box, and I dug out some of this, and that's how I found those flakes. So before leaving, I decided to try to clean that little pocket, and I got a decent sized one and two other little baby fly poops. This is actually a pretty good spot, geez. So I moved the boulders out of the way and just the pocket started going down in this little bedrock sluice box. I mean, look at that, it literally looks like the ripples in the sluice box and then dumps into this hole. So hopefully there's some good gold. And then this thing's funneling, so cleaning this out too. Because you can see how the river would come flooding around here. Wash everything up here, hence the, the big heavies. And uh, the stuff's pretty compact, so... I think I found a good many little, uh, I don't want to say gold mine, but you know what I mean. I actually had way more black sand, but I had to filter it down. That's a, this is a good spot, because look what I got. Another one. Be the best music. I think it's just one piece though. There may be micro specs, but I'm gonna suck this up and uh, clean up the rest. Pretty sure this spot's amazing. I already sucked up a big piece, but uh, we got one, two, three, four pieces right here, and then some more in the black sand because there's a lot of black sand. All right, we got two to three little micro micro pieces, so. I'm gonna call it a day because the sun's about to set too, as you can see. Crazy evergreen trees though. Does anyone know what this is? What's up, so I just got back from the river, went to two or three spots, and pretty much was just working the crevices, but then I found this good pay dirt thing that was just like under a boulder, moved a boulder, dug out of that, and it just kept paying out every single pan with some good sized pieces for the Malala River. And uh, I used the little suction thing, but it's kind of hard to tell which gold came out of the suction crevice thing, because I was kind of mixing it with also some dry dirt, but, it was a pretty good day and I will show you the gold and subscribe and maybe I'll be going to some more gold rich areas or if you want to do a gold pan collab, let me know. Anyways, here's the gold for the day. Cleaned up most of the gold from the black sand. I'd say this is a pretty good day. I don't know if it's a record for the most amount of gold, but it's the highest average of semi big pieces. So few hours and Oregon which kind of sucks for gold especially near Portland I guess that's pretty good